music has changed my life. Uh, if it wasn't for me being a main black girl, I wouldn't be the head coach of Boston Sports. I wouldn't have played in the NHL, and I wouldn't have numerous uh, friends that are extremely close to me still today. I'm excited about the future. You can already see in the second year of uh, Ben Barr's regime that uh, the team's better. Uh, they're winning more games, and uh, you can see the on-ice structure is where it needs to be. And, and knowing Ben for a while, I know the culture is already better, and I see it in the way these young men carry themselves. See great things are happening with you and the Bruins right now, and one of your key players, Jeremy Swayman, having a, a great season. What have you? What can you tell us about his season and, and kind of the kind of player he's becoming in the NHL? Yeah, well, he's having a terrific year. Uh, the season didn't start off great. He got that um, leg injury early in the year, um, which derailed him for about I don't know if it was two weeks, um, but you know I think he's uh, eight zero and one his last nine starts. He has a shutout, almost shut out the Rangers in a game where I think he stole a game for us. So his his game's coming along nicely. As you know, we're lucky. Uh, we have great players at every position, and we have great leadership. So this season's a little bit of a fairy tale so far. You were on the committee to help select. Coach Ben Barr, when that opening was was happening, what have you seen from him so far? I see a program getting better. Um, you can see that um, the way they compete, uh, the structure on the ice, you can see they're being well coached, and you can see that the players are buying in uh, because uh, they're in every game uh, for the majority of them, and they're starting to have more success, winning a lot more. And that was the thing: is we needed someone that was going to build the program, um, not only uh, with you know, get more talent in the locker room, but getting um, the right kind of culture where you care about uh, being a black bear. And uh, I, the reasons Ben was uh, hired is because he's a highly intelligent, hardworking young man who has the ability to recruit. That's been proven throughout his career. And uh, it's also been proven wherever he goes, the program gets better and they start winning a lot more games. And when you can recruit, you know how to coach to win. Um, good things happen for a program. You guys may uh, may recognize uh, one of the uh, legendaries, one of, one of the legendary uh, main black bears of all time. Good friend of mine. Uh, I started as a volunteer sharing an office with Monty at RPI back in the day, and uh, obviously he's gone a long way. Um, volunteered to come down and, and say a few things to us today and to you guys, and um, yeah, I'll give him the floor. Well, time. <laughs> Uh, listen, black bears, fellow black bears, it's awesome to be in this room again, okay? When I wore that jersey, I wore it with so much pride, right? And I know you guys do too, all right? And I love what you guys are doing this year, okay? I don't care what the record is, I've watched a few games, and you guys are working together. You're playing for each other, 
okay? And there's a couple of things I want to say, I probably won't remember everything, because I care about the main black bears, okay? And yesterday, things didn't go your way. That's life. Things don't go your way all the time, right? Well, what you get an opportunity to do in this great game that we play is you get to respond today, right? And I hate those guys, okay? I hate them when I play, I hate them today. Okay, that's never gonna leave you because you're a black bear, okay? Now, all I care is that we outwork them tonight. The results take care of themselves. You make sure you outwork them, we will support them, and whatever the game plan is, you guys follow that together, okay? Things don't always go your way, but when we work together, things happen, okay? And things are gonna, good things are gonna be coming to you guys down the road if you keep the culture that these guys are trying to establish with you guys, okay? I'm lucky that I played for the Black Bears. I'm lucky that I coached the Boston Bruins. And the best thing about the Boston Bruins is the leadership that I get to work with every day, okay? And when you guys go back to campus, you guys matter. You gotta remember that. You guys matter, you matter to us alums, okay? I don't wanna see how you guys respond to that. All right, good luck. From Aganis Arena, the Jack Parker rink, it is hockey night on Aganis Way. Bernie Corbett, Mark Linehan, glad you could join us here. The Terriers and the Maine Black Bears finished their two-game weekend hockey series. The Terriers are going for the sweep. The Black Bears are trying to salvage points. The Terriers got off to a good start last night with a very early power play goal. Scoop with a move. Scoop for a shot and a goal! Wilmer Scoop! 36 seconds in, and the Terriers are in familiar territory this weekend, Mark. An early lead. Now, far side, Scoop. Hold for a shot and a goal! Wilmer Scoop! He is heating up, and the Terriers have a 2 to nothing lead. His defenseman there. He's still, still stalled, down. and the Black Bears follow it up as Peterson and Comesso were That's entangled right. and could not separate. Copeland looked for an escape route, couldn't find it. Shot falling up and a goal. The Black Bears have cut it in half. Poisson from the doorstep follows up a rebound. Off. Mancinelli shot blocked. Follow up and a goal. The Black Bears with three unanswered. The last one here with 6.3 left in the first period. Looking for some help. But no help arrives, and the Black Bears are able to get right back within one on some very, very poor puck handling by the Terriers deep in their own zone. The Black Bears, Renwick. Renwick in front, and a goal. We are tied. Wow. The Black Bears off the initial rush. 5-5 with 12-11 left second period. Circle. Shot in a goal. The Black Bears have the lead. No goal. No goal. Yep, that's right. Good call by the... All right. So there was interference yep. with the netminder. But you know, Bernie, it's like we talk about. The, it's, I mean, it's, it's like you just talk about the World Juniors. It's a crazy rule. To the middle. Gallagher trying to wrist it to the oh, net and a goal! Ty Gallagher just threw it to the net, and it looked like a redirect down front. Hudson springs his brother right down central. Quinn Hudson wrists it with a goal! Quinn Hudson gives the Terriers a two goal lead with 7.34 left. A circle. Wilmer holds. Wilmer with a wrist and a goal! Jeremy Wilmer, top shelf! And the Terriers have a three goal lead. Races back in. Wilmer. Tuck for a wrister and a goal! Luke Tuck. Sorota for a wrister. Deflected and in. Yep. Hit a body in front. No fault to Duplessis on that one, trying to track that puck. That was about as uh, crazy a hop as you could imagine.
live from Alphond Arena at the University of Maine in Orono. It's Hockey East on ESPN+. Plus. Tonight is the start of a two-game set between the 17th-ranked Providence College Friars and the Maine Black Bears. And in tonight's action, we actually have a battle of a couple of brothers. On the Providence side, it's the younger brother, the junior, Nick Poisson. And on the Maine side, it's the older brother, the senior assistant captain, Ben Poisson. that would be, you know, sure. That's a heavy hit right afterward behind the play. That's going to get players up. That was a heavy hit right at the benches. Providence players injured, and we're going to get a penalty on the play. Yes, he all nine in the first period. But that's five-minute major for Morgan in a game of misconduct. But it's going to be a five-minute major. And Poisson is going to go to the dressing room, done for the night. Sirota, 